Hi there. Today I get to sit down and chat to you about my favourite subject, herbs of course. And I want to introduce you to my three ladies of the garden, and that's lavender, chamomile and lemon balm. Now together these three girls produce the most wonderful sleep, sleep blend, and I love it. But separately they have the most amazing properties. Let me tell you a bit about them. Starting with lavender, everyone knows about lavender. It's perhaps the most well-known herb in the whole world and it's grown worldwide. Lavender comes in various different types. Uh, you even get different colours. You get uh, the blue, standard blue, you get pink and you get white. And you get different forms as well. You can get it with little um, like butterfly leaf bracts on the top and you can get all different shapes and sizes. This is Hidcott Lavender and it's my absolute favourite. You get really tight bud form on it and it's great for drying, dries beautifully and just crumbles perfectly. This is my favourite. I use it for everything from tea blends, to potpourri, to sleep sacks, sachets, I even use it in cooking. I love my lavender. Now lavender in the Victorian language of flowers means devotion and it's often put in a bride's bouquet. Lavender, the name comes from lavande, meaning to wash, and it has been used right down throughout the centuries from everything from washing linens and fragrancing them and keeping nasty insects and moths away from your pr priceless linens to using it as an antiseptic. It has wonderful qualities. A little bottle of lavender essential oil is a must as your first aid kit. I take one everywhere when I go on holiday. You can use it for minor burns and scalds, you can use it for stings, you can use it for sunburn. It's such a good thing to have around. And always look for pure essential oils. Now moving on here we have chamomile. Now chamomile is a delicate, gentle little herb. It looks very, very airy fairy here, but it's actually pretty robust. You know, this will survive the winter, this herb. Not with flowers, of course, but the flowers, the flowers are where all the goodness is hidden. This is what you want for your chamomile tea, etc. You want to be picking these flowers and either using them fresh or drying them for use later on throughout the year. It's full of this wonderful essential oil that is calming and helps you sleep. And the name chamomile um, signifies patience in the Victorian language of flowers. And I think that's really apt. It's calm, it's patience. Yeah, time stands still with chamomile. You could plant chamomile in a window box and have the window open in the summer months and let the gentle breeze bring in the scent of chamomile to help you sleep. I often say to people, put a couple of drops of chamomile oil on your pillow and that will really help you reach the land of Nod. Chamomile tea will have the same effect too. It's a very soothing, calming type of herb. One you should always have around. And this is lemon balm. Now, not everybody knows about lemon balm. Lemon balm uh, was very popular in Victorian times. And uh, its original name is Melissa officinalis. And Melissa is Greek for bee, because this is the bee plant. Bees adore lemon balm. And if you plant a nice big pot of this in your garden, you will be the popular person for bees. They will come flocking to your garden, which is great news. And you could get a variety of types. You could get the standard green and you could get variegated. And in the summer, you get these teeny weeny little white flowers on it. Now, lavender, uh, lemon balm, sorry, has the most pungent smell. As the name suggests, it's lemony. It's wonderful stuff. And it's a very good tea and also for lemonade. It's refreshing, it's zingy, it's just like lemons themselves but it's also soothing and calming and has been used down throughout the centuries as an aid to depression and uh, insomnia. So, you know, it's one to have in an oil burner to lift your mood and to chill you out. It can also be used as a furniture polish, believe it or not, because of the essential oils in it, if you break off some leaves and you scrunch them up like this and then you rub that onto your wood surfaces, it feeds the wood and really puts in the scent of lemon, which in turn keeps flies away. So it's a really good herb for that too. And lemon balm, lemon balm actually means sympathy in the Victorian language of flowers. It's a beautiful herb. It's one that I love having in the garden. It grows up to about uh, nearly three feet tall and can be pretty bushy as well. So it's one you can actually have in a big planter or even a small, small plot um, and it will grow almost anywhere. 
um, it doesn't mind a bit of shade so it's one that's pretty useful. So there you have my top three ladies. Lavender, chamomile and lemon balm. They're the best. See you next time for the next lot of herbs. Thank you.